Understanding the Hazards of Welding Welding is a profession that has been around for centuries and has played an essential role in the development of our modern world. However, it is also a hazardous occupation that poses significant risks to those who practice it. Welders are exposed to various hazards, including electric shock, fire, explosions, toxic fumes, and radiation. These hazards can cause severe injuries, illnesses, and even death if proper safety measures are not taken. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the risks involved in welding and take appropriate safety measures to protect oneself and others. In this article, we will explore the hazards of welding and the importance of safety measures, training, and equipment in preventing accidents and injuries. 2. The Risks Involved in Welding Welding is a hazardous occupation that involves various risks. One of the most significant hazards of welding is exposure to fumes and gases, which can cause respiratory problems and other health issues. Welders are also at risk of burns, eye injuries, and electrical shock. The intense heat generated during welding can cause fires and explosions, leading to severe injuries or even death. Another risk associated with welding is noise exposure. The sound produced by welding equipment can exceed safe levels, leading to hearing loss over time. Moreover, welding involves working in confined spaces, which can increase the risk of accidents and injuries. Welders are also exposed to radiation, which can cause skin burns, eye damage, and other health problems. The ultraviolet, UV, radiation emitted during welding can cause skin cancer, while the infrared, IR, radiation can cause cataracts and other eye problems. In addition to these risks, welders may also face ergonomic hazards, such as repetitive motion injuries and musculoskeletal disorders. The physical demands of welding, such as standing for long periods and holding heavy equipment, can lead to back pain, shoulder pain, and other injuries. Overall, welding is a hazardous occupation that requires proper safety measures and equipment to minimize the risks involved. It is essential for welders to be aware of these risks and take appropriate precautions to protect themselves from harm. 3. Safety Measures for Welders Welding is a hazardous occupation that exposes workers to various risks. However, with proper safety measures, welders can minimize the risks and ensure their safety while on the job. Here are some essential safety measures for welders. 1. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE. Welders must wear appropriate PPE, including helmets, gloves, aprons, and boots, to protect themselves from sparks, heat, and radiation. 2. Ventilation. Adequate ventilation is crucial in welding to prevent the accumulation of harmful fumes and gases. Welders should work in well-ventilated areas or use exhaust systems to remove fumes and gases. 3. Fire prevention. Welding produces sparks that can ignite flammable materials. Welders must keep the work area free of flammable materials and have fire extinguishers nearby in case of a fire. 4. Training. Proper training is essential for welders to understand the hazards associated with welding and how to use equipment safely. Employers should provide comprehensive training to their employees to ensure they can identify and mitigate potential hazards. 5. Maintenance. Regular maintenance of welding equipment is necessary to ensure it functions correctly and safely. Welders should inspect their equipment before each use and report any defects or malfunctions immediately. By following these safety measures, welders can reduce the risks associated with welding and ensure their safety while on the job. It's crucial to prioritize safety in welding to prevent accidents and injuries. 4. Conclusion. Importance of proper training and equipment in welding. In conclusion, it is crucial for welders to receive proper training and have access to appropriate equipment in order to minimize the risks associated with their occupation. Welding can be a hazardous job, but with the right safety measures in place, many accidents can be prevented. Employers should prioritize the safety of their workers by providing adequate training, protective gear, and well-maintained equipment. Welders themselves should also take responsibility for their own safety by following established safety protocols and reporting any concerns or hazards they encounter. By working together to prioritize safety, we can ensure that welding remains a valuable and important profession while minimizing the risks involved.